Hello and welcome to my first video. I'm going to share with you what I learn as I build my first plugin for the Fastify web framework for Node.js. Fastify is not actually a framework that I've worked with before. Um, in my day job, I tend to work with Express and I haven't had a suitable project where I could try out Fastify and learn how it works. So in this short video, I'm going to explain how I'm in the situation where I'm going to be writing a plugin for a framework that I've never used before. Last week, I published a blog post, five best practices for building a modern API with Express. In that blog post, best practice number three was to use an existing format for error responses. The format that I was recommending is the application problem JSON specification. This is a specification that I discovered a few weeks ago on Reddit um, and I thought it looked pretty useful. There's actually an RFC for it. It's only proposed, but uh, it's pretty detailed. And in here, let's take a look at an example object. Uh, you can see that the response type will have a content type header application problem JSON, meaning that the client will know exactly what's going on, that an error has occurred, and also that they're going to get some structured data, which um, provides information about that error. So there is the type here, the title, and some optional arguments. Anyway, we'll dig more into this particular specification later and how it can be used. But this blog post that I wrote, where I talked about this particular RFC, was featured in Node Weekly. Matteo Colina, who I follow on Twitter, tweeted on the same day as my article was featured in Node Weekly that his pet project in DC was also in Node Weekly. I thought it was pretty cool. And I knew that Matteo was the one of the lead maintainers of Fastify. So I mentioned my article, article to Matteo. And then he suggested that perhaps I could build a plugin for Fastify that simplifies the use of the RFC that we were just looking at. Um, I thought that was a really cool idea. And so I went and did what I do when I don't know what I'm doing and searched for more information on the internet. And I found that Fastify has a wealth of excellent documentation. So when it comes to writing plugins, there is lots for you to get stuck into. Anyway, that's a short story of how I ended up writing a plugin for a framework that I've never used. In the next video, I'm going to show you my starting point of actually learning to build a small application with Fastify. As it's a framework that I've never used before, I figured before I start writing a plugin for it, I should probably get a bit of a feel for how the framework itself actually works. So hope to see you in my next video.